and we're back. So Nimr and Deer still in the green path. Um, before I bail out, um, if from the last video you will have noticed that it didn't go terribly well. I came here hoping to find like neat surprises, and I found a vessel fragment and a lot of ways to get hurt. So. Um, I will confess, I actually did some off-camera practicing trying to get through the, uh, <laughs> through that one place that had stumped me, so in all of my tries, I got a little bit farther a single time, and, and what, oh, that's right, this place is just a sad caterpillar. So, uh, anyway. I tried to get across, and I landed in some acid. Not, not that... I didn't actually land in acid when I did that, I kept landing on spikes. But no, I tried many times. Once I actually managed to get further, and then it turned out there was like a pogo repeatedly over the spiky creatures thing that I failed at, and I just surrendered and came back out because it was uh, yeah, getting to be a bit much for me. So. Hopefully we'll try again at some point in the future. Before I move on to, you know, where I think I'm actually needing to make progress, I wanted to stop in. We've unlocked some things. I'm curious if the hunter, you know, has anything to say to me from the new creatures I've, you know, clear... Uh, uh, I've, you know, where I've learned to read some of the stuff in his journal. Oh, no, manama. Ah, I knew I'd seen it right. That hunter's quality. Hallow nest creatures fall in your path. Don't stop now, little squib. Many more there are to find, and stalk, and kill. Thanks. I was just checking to see if he gave me any rewards. Like, I'm still sort of hoping for a light source after that thing with the stone sanctuary place. I can't help but be convinced that at some point I'm going to get a, find a way to, you know, to illuminate darkened paths. Alright, well, hey. I need some of you, some of you guys. For uh, my bestiary, so. Okay. Doggone it. Ah! I'm, I'm repeatedly hitting, like, trying not to hit the soul thing and hitting the enemy instead. Uh. Gimme. Give me more, please. Yeah, I think I pulled one out of the middle while I was trying to kill that creature, but oh well. Is there actually any reason even for me to go up here? No. This was a waste of a trip apart from the, like, two little moss kin, I think they're called. Hey, wait. Alright, maybe it's not a total waste. Now, for what it's worth, I'm a little worried about collecting Geo with this stage, just because, as I said, my the bank where I was supposed to be able to store them seems to have closed up shop. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but but that's what I've experienced. So, ah, shoot. Man, it's not going well for me here. And, yep, I do need to go the long way here. That's... All right. Tried not to do too much excessive killing just for the sake of it. Oh, that's right. Here I want to go down the lower way because I can jump over these moss chargers. Yeah. Alright. A lot. It feels pretty good to it to get it to get past those things like that. So let's see. Yeah. Trying to remember my way, <laughs> my way to the stag station. So, and this is not it yet. Okay. This is it, cause yeah, that way leads to the nasty, challenging thing I wasn't able to pull off. All right. Actually, you I will harvest some soul from, cause you're, you know. You're an annoying plant that sneaks up on me, and I'm not about that. All right. All right. Oh. 
I've got it. Now just come around this way. Alright. Here we go, at the stag station. So. Yeah, we'll rest it up real quick. Yeah. Heal that, you know, point of damage. And let's go to Dirtma, because I do, you know, I figure we can also stop off and see. We've we've rescued a few sad caterpillars. Let's see if, you know, I get anything more more from mustached caterpillar. Thank you, last egg. All right, let's keep going. I must confess, I feel kind of guilty that I'm not just progressing at this point, because I went back thinking I was going to find all this neat stuff in the green path, and... Or some weird sequence break or something, not... Oh, by the way, sorry. Um, you know, <laughs> there's an episode of me failing to pull off platforming challenges, and, you know... Yep, oh, there we go. Yep, yep. Hi guys, how's it going? Wow, yeah, I I've helped you out here. Wow, there's some has some Wee. geo. Um, or some more geo, Wee. okay. A lot more geo, okay. And some more geo, okay. I've apparently rescued several of these guys. Alright. That is a disturbingly high amount of geo. And I um thank you? I got another one of these rancid eggs. Um I'm gonna do my best to be grateful here, but yeah. Looks like I've saved a lot of you guys. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. It, again, at least until they turn into some, you know, sad caterpillar super boss that I have to deal with. But was there anything else? I think I had checked everything I was considering doing here. So I basically got more stuff in the Crystal Peak. I have that one room essentially that I could go back and investigate. So so we'll check that one out. Now I was curious. Can I actually get the lift to descend if I just walk up to this door? Oh, no, but okay, it stays down. I remember we found it up that one time, and I wasn't sure if I had to, you know, parkour my way back up to the, you know, entry to Dirtmouth just to get in. All right. So now... All right. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Oh, nearly hit the wrong button and um, missed this. Okay, there we go. And away we go. All right. And away we go again. All right. So, now I should be back to where Cornifer was. Oh, well, after I sail through here one more time. Yeah, because there's that fella up there. Which, yeah. Again, I'm guessing at some point I'm going to get a way to do something there. But I'm just not sure what. I said maybe there is a true double jump hiding somewhere. At this stage, I'm starting to doubt that there's actually a double jump. But, let's see. Alright. That wasn't what I meant to do, but oh well. This is not going well. Oh, Alright. There we go. That's that's more like what I was actually trying to accomplish. Alright. So now I should be able to get through here. Yeah, because this is the stomper room that I neutralized when I rescued the sad caterpillar. And yeah, I think it's the room under here is the one I haven't actually explored completely. So. So yeah, that one led into the chamber where I got the crystal heart. Where I faced extreme platforming, you know, mark, whatever. Oh yeah, and go ahead and 
charge up my thing, so. Wow, okay, the beam's already finished off that guy. Uh, ooh. Okay, I guess once I kill him, I can come around there and then activate the switch, but that is a lot of miners. That is not going to be fun. Shoot. Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Come on, there we go. Okay. Heavens to Murgatroyd. There, open. Oh. Alright. Alright. That was a little painful. Not gonna lie. Um, alright. And honestly, I'm not sure I want that gate open, because now those guys can, you know, get at me if I come back. Hmm. Alright. Did I miss anything down there? I don't think so. Just kind of booking it. I do have this geode over here from the. Alright. But now you guys, I can get back, you know, I can escape from, so that's promising. Yeah. Alright. And you can't shoot me from here. That area is blocked off from somewhere else. Okay. Oh, I've got some stompers. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh dear. Yeah, my timing is off. I'm going to have to go or farm some soul before I try this. Okay. Yeah, between all of the miners that, you know... Doggone it. I forgot I, you know, that was tall enough that I had to double jump. Or I had to wall jump over it. Um, okay. Anyway. So. This may not end up looking any more thrilling than the last video, but I'm going to give it a shot. Alright. Almost full up. All this just because I real again I, I I have a very intense dislike of the fungal waste so so it feels kind of amusing that I'm working so hard to do stuff that doesn't involve me going into the fungal wastes but even though it's clear I need to explore that mantis city further all right that should be enough soul and I don't really need to kill this thing I think I can clear it in the uh... yeah all right. Well, the good news is the miners don't just automatically, you know, they don't just automatically start running down here to murder me. Alright. Now I'm trying to get my timing down. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. That's gonna be tough. Oh boy. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Aw, oh, shoot. Where does it stop? Puts me back on this side. Of course it does. Doggone it. Ah. Oh, dear. Yeah, that was a whiff. Okay. Alright. Gotta get back and go get more soul. Doggone it. Oh, oh, jeez. This is, this could be a problem. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I've got to do all this basically on one soul stock. Okay. There we go. Alright. So yeah, I've got to go collect more soul from poor big bug up here. Uh, Alright. As I left feeling guilty about how I'm going to murder this guy over and over again. Possibly just for, like, a geode, which is 
like insulting to this, you know, to the, the fact that I keep killing it. But all right, that should be enough because I'll take, <laughs> I will inevitably take some damage, and you know. I keep killing that guy because I need him for the uh, beast gear. So. All right, all right. Dock on it. I didn't even really mean to step next to that thing. Oh, well. Dock on it. My timing is off. Ugh, this is this is not this is not entertaining viewing. Um. All right. I apologize. So uh, let's go heal up and. I think that's one thing I'm finding a little frustrating about some of these moments, between this and the dashing thing, that you, know, you only get so many tries before you're kind of obligated to, you know, retreat and, like, collect soul. I mean, I suppose, theoretically, I could find myself in a situation where I've collected multiple of those soul vessels, and I don't need to keep repeating this routine, but... Doggone it out there. Really? Okay. Come on, go ahead and heal. Um, yeah. Alright, so I got through the first two. Okay. Doggone it, I dropped too fast. Okay. Okay, so now I've got to get through here, which is actually, like, the easiest of the bunch, it feels like. Okay, well, I got through there. All right, that's a thing. I've got a down drop. I don't know where does this lead. Hmm, let's see. Okay, sad caterpillar. Are you a... No, okay, you're a regular sad caterpillar. Okay, you're cool. All right, so I've got a way out which is good. Alright. So at least I've made some progress. I've freed the sad caterpillar. So, if nothing else, I have... I feel like I've accomplished that with my life. Let's see, what's this way? Uh, I'm... The blind runs is really... Okay. There we go. That one was a little bit less daunting. But I have cleared it and opened the gate, so I think, maybe. What else have I done? That seemed awfully substantial for that, you know, one thing, right? What else have I done? Oh, I turned off all the stompers. Okay, because, of course, now that I've proven I can do all this, let, we, we shall not... <laughs> let us never speak of it again. Um, Alright, so... So that's... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this area now. It's funny, I'm kind of like, like I'm like nervously waiting for them to start up again. But, so I've freed the sad caterpillars. This guy is... He is gonna shoot spikes at me. There's one underneath him who will also shoot spikes at me. I'm basically trying to figure out if I can, uh... Alright, so well, apparently I've gotten the bestiary entry for those guys. Yay, yay me. Because this area should still be dark. Yeah, so it was dark, and I can't see, and yeah, so I'm not going to go diving in there without a visual. So, yeah, I'm more or less ready to leave the, uh, Ready to leave the Crystal Peak for now. It's a shame there's not a fast travel option in here somewhere, but such is life.
It'd be really nice if I could actually, like, see those dudes clearly, instead of fighting them half the time surrounded by, uh... By their, uh, by stalagmites or something, so I can't actually see their motions all that clearly. Alright. So this way, yep, I just climb up. And... I suppose I'm now... I said, yeah, ready to go back to the fungal waste. I don't think I've got much else to do at this stage. Yeah, that's the one where I got the charm that I can't use. Doggone it. No, oh, oh dear. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. So, yeah. Curious if those things are actually indestructible or if I'm fine. Uh, at some point, I'm going to find a way to be able to kill them off. I'm. It's not clear, so we'll we'll see how it goes. I have to be ready to stop while I make my escape. Escape, escape, and away we go. All right. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so we've got this. That way was where I found the fake sad caterpillar and a real sad caterpillar. So we'll come back out. And we found our way back to dirt. All right, so... So I did explore that area. I've got way more Geo than I feel comfortable carrying at this point, but evidently I'm not able to store it. Um, we, we can wrap back up by going down into the Queen Station. I'll show you, you know, what I mean when I say that, you know, Millibel's not there. Since the, the bank was right there, you know, at at the junction between the Fog Canyon and the Queen Station. Thank you, Last Stag, by the way. Alright. So, go ahead and rest up, just in case something weird happens when I try to go encounter Millibel. And, if I remember right, Willow has nothing new to say. Let me, let's stop in and see, see if she has anything new to tell us. Nope, she's still talking about how this was a hub, you know, and that she's not leaving as long as she's got her food. So, again, I kind of encourage it, but this place is dangerous, so. So, yeah, come back through the fog canyon. See? She's just gone. And again, yeah, like, you can hit the bank, like I just demonstrated, and it wobbles. I'm not about to try to hit it more to, you know, see if I can, like, extricate it. That just seems like just begging for it to turn out, to, for it to turn out that Millibel is some, you know, again, optional super boss. So, so for now, I think my plan is to go back down into the fungal waste, head toward the uh, Mantis Village. So I've got... That one area that you can see marked directly below my current position, where uh, I think the super dash might actually give me um, a tool to get over like an acid pit that was there initially, and I just didn't know how to get around it. And from there, we'll probably just descend into the Mantis Village and see whatever horrid boss monster ends up awaiting us in there. So, this is a good place to press pause. Again, I think I've just about exhausted my options, at least my options that you know, don't involve me walking forward in darkness and hoping that something doesn't attempt to destroy me. So, again, thanks for watching. If, you know, you haven't checked out the rest of the series, feel free to jump back to the beginning of Nimrindir Plays Hollow Knight. Uh, my little avatar and I will see you in the fungal wastes next time.